We are in the rubber game of the match, and Rex, your turn, our defending champion. Lonnie Love for the block. For the block, all right, Lonnie, here we go. A geophysicist estimates this recently caused some of California's mountains to grow a foot taller. What was it? That was silicone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was reading about this. It's the acid rain, the deposits, and they never melt, so it makes the mountains look bigger. I'll disagree. That's good, though. I almost <laughs> bought it, and I had a different answer on the card. Yeah, uh, it's an earthquake. An earthquake. X gets the block. Acid rain building up. Bab. I'm going to go with Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson. All right, Randy from American Idol. Randy, you'd have to you'd have to spend millions at auction for Messiah, Hercules, or Colossus. What are they? Uh, probably things Simon Cowell wish he owned. But um, <laughs> uh, you know what? I think it's rare books. Probably. Yeah. 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 I disagree. Stradivarius violins is what, it, uh, what they are. Circle gets that one. All right, Rex. Judy Gold for the block, please. Judy Gold. All right, Judy. Here we go. In a Harris poll, what do most teenagers these days want to be when they grow up? Filthy rich and constantly wasted. <laughs> um, What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a pop star? I'll agree. No, a doctor. Uh, a doctor. Oh, Can't give you that one, Babs. I'm going to take Judy Gold for the win. And please. the championship, if you get it. All right. It was, it was long believed that moths were attracted to light bulbs because they thought light bulbs were what? Shapely and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the sun. For the championship. I'm going to disagree. The moon. Circle gets it and the win. to say goodbye. You leave us with a total of $33,459. Hope you had a good time. But Babs, way to come back. You are our new champion. Ready to play the bonus round? Yes, I am. All right, up to now we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here's where we find out, Babs, how much you know about them. All right, Babs, take a look over here at these nine keys. Only one of them opens our steamer trunk in which we have a trip to where, John? Enjoy a real continental breakfast on your tour of London and Paris. Colette Vacations takes you and a guest to both London and Paris. Enjoy the sights, cuisine, and theater. Plus, travel the Eurostar high-speed train between two of Europe's most exciting cities. Colette Vacations, where the difference is the experience. Visit ColetteVacations.com. It's a vacation to remember. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, all right? Clock starts ticking when you pick your first star. Judy, please. Rogue jokes for Hillary Clinton's gridiron dinner appearance. Agree. Wrong, next. Randy. Played bass for the band Journey. Agree. Right, next. Obama. Had an audience with the Pope. Disagree. Right, next. Christina. Played volleyball in the Dominican Republic professionally. Agree. Wrong, next. Martin. Wrote and recorded Loser's Samba. Agree. Right, next. Charles. Created a dance called the Tushi Coochie. Agree. Right, next. Steve. Is an accomplished tap dancer. Disagree. Right, next. Dom. First job on Broadway selling orange drinks in the theater. Agree. Right, next. Lonnie. One medals as a trained wine expert. Agree. Wrong. Okay, but we ran the board, did very well. Let's sit down there and clap. <laughs> I thought that said uh, you were an accomplished lap dancer, which gave me a whole different oh. visual. Thing. <laughs> Two, four, six. Which one of you be amazed what I could do? <laughs> six right. Let's take away six of the bad ones. All right. One of those three keys, Babs, will send you to London and I Paris. I think this one is it. Good luck. Good luck. Come on. You're right. <laughs> Just 
she was just planning a trip to Paris. Yes, Is that I right? was. I was. I've got been looking at all the coupons and everything, trying uh, to figure out the cheapest. The way. heck with the coupons! <laughs> Come to Hollywood Squares, right? <laughs> that means as champion so far, you got twelve thousand seventy-five dollars. <laughs> Digest that for a day. When we come back tomorrow, we'll meet your new challenger, all right? Babs will be back tomorrow. Martin Mull and all the stars will be here. I'm Tom Bridger. I'm hoping you join us tomorrow on Hollywood Square. Bye-bye. I'm John Mashita, the voice of Hollywood Square, saying good night. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Nice Can to hear you from you, Dom. Nice seeing you. It's so good to be here on... Hollywood Square. <laughs> you just like it when I'm on top of you, Dom. Whoa. I won't deny it. I won't deny it.